Hello everybody, I'm John McClellan. Welcome to the Poor Choice video program where we drink the worst liquor on the planet. Today, we're drinking vermouth. Now, vermouth is what they call a fortified wine. And without getting too deep into the history of everything, fortified wines began during the times in history where everything was transported via boat. And they would take wine-style products and add more alcohol to them so they would be preserved over the course of a long ocean voyage. Now, by preserved, I'm not sure if they meant keeping the cargo from getting spoiled or keeping the crew from drinking it because they made it so undrinkable. Now, there are two kinds of vermouth. Today, we're drinking dry vermouth, which is pale in color. And there's also sweet vermouth. Sweet vermouth is brown and is sweet in the way pineapple is sweet on a pizza. You don't want any part of that. But you know what vermouth really is? It's a guy wearing a Speedo at the beach. It's batteries going out on your remote. It's a service charge. It's a resort fee. It's a waiting period for a handgun. It's a family sitting next to you at dinner with two kids in high chairs. Vermouth is a liquor that keeps you from having a really good time. Now, dry vermouth, along with vodka or gin, is a key ingredient to a martini. And the reason Vermouth is keeping you from having a good time because it's the key ingredient that people don't want in a martini. In order to squash the taste of vermouth, you have to order your drink in a special way. You could order a martini dirty, which has olive brine in it. You could order it in and out. And they take the vermouth, they swirl it around the glass, and toss it out of the sink. But if you want a martini without vermouth, you have to order it extra dry, which doesn't make sense. Because it's using dry vermouth. You think they would have different terminology to make a martini without vermouth. For example, hey, could you make me a martini without all that shit in it? But that would be offensive to people and time consuming as you would have to wait for them to take a statue down before they can make your drink. If you order a martini with vermouth, that's like getting a female hooker with man parts. The transaction's already been paid for. You just have to decide if you want to finish it or not. Now, there are some people that actually drink vermouth straight on purpose. Normally, it's as what's called an aperitif, a drink before the meal to stimulate the appetite. Starting with an aperitif, is a smart idea because you can get drunk faster than anyone else and excuse yourself before the bill arrives. <laughs> oh, God. It's like watching the view. Oh. Oh. You know what? I'm doing this wrong. I should have got the blue mop watch. Oh. As fortified wine, this must be fortified with what hyenas refuse to eat. So what have we learned here today? Well, if you're going to have a party, people that come to the party probably know what time it starts. They don't always know when the party is going to be over, unless you're one of those freaks that sends out invitations. It's whenever you decide that the party is over, that's when the party's over. So let vermouth help you by helping you clear out your party using one of these methods named after how to order a martini. The dirty method. Start a fight. Not just any fight. One that brings up shit you've been keeping in your pocket since 2003. Hurt feelings. Everyone's going to bolt for the door like it's Black Friday at Walmart. You can clean up in the morning after you've tested out all your apologies. The in and out method. Inform your guests at the appropriate hour. This event's really a swingers party. I bring out a bowl with everyone's keys in it. Place is going to clear out quick. 
They're either leaving with who they came with or they're leaving with who they're coming with. The extra dry method. Keep a bottle of vermouth around. When it's time to wrap up, come through the room with vermouth in one hand and people's coats in another. One of those arms will be empty very, very quickly. Party's over on Poor Choice for today. I'll see you next time.